May 1, 2024. Against all wars and the military industry that drives them. For a world without states or borders. Since the fall of the USSR and the end of the Cold War, the world is currently in a multipolar phase. The discourse that they have sold us that, in a globalized world, international tensions and wars would decrease, is a lie. Armed conflicts today are a constant in Europe and the rest of the world. Furthermore, many conflicts continue to be a consequence of European colonialism, and many others of neo-colonialism that has arisen as a result of the decolonization processes. The engine of war. The military industry war is disastrous in every sense, for the population, which is forced to be cannon fodder, for society as a whole and for the ecosystem. But never for those who live off the industry of death and benefit from it. In recent years we have seen how the arms industry is booming, increasing its profits and soaring in the stock markets. The main beneficiaries are its business owners, the banks that finance them and the investors that promote them. All this under the precepts of NATO, which requires states to invest 2% of their GDP in military spending. This is why, in Spain, investment in military spending has increased by up to 1.3%. And still far from NATO's demands, this figure amounts to 13.4 billion. Spain is in the top 10 inches for the sale and supply of weapons, reaching $594 million in 2021, with countries in war conflicts such as Saudi Arabia and Israel being some of its clients. The war speech of the political powers from the political powers we are prepared through war speeches to justify the economic changes that will result from the increase in investment in the military industry. This will harm the welfare state through budget cuts and dismantling, which is clearly counterproductive for the working class. Already during the coronavirus pandemic, it began to become normal for soldiers to appear on television and in other public spaces with bellicose rhetoric and nationalist exaltation. Likewise, authoritarianism, abuse of power by the police and the exercise of social control were normalized. The state continues to be legally armed through the gag law, Organic Law 4 2015 of March 30, on the protection of citizen security, to exercise repression against the political action of individuals and groups of workers. Today, High-ranking EU officials such as Josep Borrell or Ursula von der Leyen introduce issues such as arms exports, the war economy or growth in military investment in their speeches. The French government, through its Prime Minister or the Minister of Defence, openly speaks of pre-war economy, of sending military troops or of defeatism. Countries like Poland or Turkey use similar arguments while, they begin to materialise the warmongering discourse suppressing the European International Treaty that limits military forces in Europe. Anarchists against war are political position as anarchists is contrary to war and the fragmentation of society due to national, ethnic and identity hatred exacerbated by globalized economies. In a multipolar world in which geopolitical interests and their capitalist economy revolve around war, death and destruction to monopolize resources and markets, it is more than necessary for anarchists to spread our anti-war political positions among the working class of Europe and the world. Not only as a means of raising awareness, but so that we workers can use the means that are at our disposal, boycott, strike or sabotage, to hinder as much as possible, the war machinery that the political powers and the economy are pushing us towards. Capitalist. Faced with the militaristic order based on domination, exploitation, fear and oppression, we advocate the demilitarization and dissolution of armies. We work on the practice of solidarity and mutual support between all workers and their political independence from parties and parliamentary institutions, neither war between peoples, nor peace between classes. For Anarchy Earth